we can also we can also check the precedence uh, based on the pass tree suppose we have this expression id plus id star id right and suppose uh, the grammar given here is the same which we discussed earlier this one t star f suppose this is the given grammar and this is the expression we want to generate so using this grammar we can do we can make the pass tree like this t star f now this is t this is f and this is id right this is f this will generate f this will generate id so using this grammar we are doing it and f will generate id so we are getting this expression that means here we are calculating this first and then this one so as you can see this is the start symbol this is the this is the start symbol e is the start symbol which one is closest to the start symbol plus operator is closest to the start symbol so plus will be having the least precedence so we can also decide it on the basis of level this is first level and this is second level so this plus operator is on first level that means it is the closest to the start symbol so plus will be having the least precedence and this start the star operator is at the second level so we can say that second the star operator is having the highest precedence because it is farthest from the start symbol clear so now note one point in order to define in order to define associativity in order to define associativity we are defining recursion we are defining recursion right how we can decide the associativity by checking whether a production is left recursive or right recursive if it is left recursive that means the operator will be having left associativity if it is right recursive then that means the operator will be having right associativity <coughs> second point is in order to define precedence in order to define precedence we are defining levels we are defining levels like this so the operator which is closest or which has the which which is at the first level will be having the least precedence and which is uh, at the below level or farthest from the start symbol will be having the highest precedence so in order to define precedence we are defining levels clear now let's proceed suppose we have a grammar like this e drives e plus t or t t drives t star f or f f drives g exponential operator f g and g drives i id suppose this is the given grammar this is the given grammar okay now as we can see this production this is left recursive so we can say this is a left recursive therefore plus will be having left associativity this is also left recursive so as this is left recursive so star will be having left associativity now here it is right recursive because the rightmost symbol in the rhs is same as the lhs so this is right recursive so we can say exponential operator is having right associativity clear now now if we talk about the precedence if we talk about the precedence of these operators then which one will be having the least precedence plus operator will be having the least precedence why because it is this is the start symbol this is closest to the start symbol so plus will be having the least precedence then the star star operator will be having the second least precedence and then this exponential because it is the farthest so it will be having the highest precedence okay so this is the precedence order based on this grammar so plus will be having the least precedence and star will be having the highest precedence because it is farthest from the start symbol it is farthest from the start symbol clear
now let's take more examples suppose we have something like this r plus r so we have seen this grammar in the previous lectures and we know that this is ambiguous this is ambiguous grammar right and we can also see this in this production it is both left recursive and right recursive so we can say this is ambiguous grammar okay to check ambiguity we can make if we are getting two parse trees more than one parse tree for a single expression then that is ambiguous grammar or if we can get more than one lmd that is leftmost derivative or we can get more than one rightmost derivative then we can say ambiguous and we can also check the ambiguity in, in case of this as this production is both left recursive and right recursive so this grammar is ambiguous grammar clear now if we try to convert this grammar into unambiguous so we should like some uh, we should write something like this e plus t so now we are removing one recursion okay so we are writing e drives e plus t or t right now t drives tf or f and f drives f star or a or b or c clear now if you see here if you see here this is left recursive and this is also left recursive and this is also left recursive so we can say that this grammar is unambiguous right now if you see this is left recursive so this will be having this plus operator will be having left associativity and here star operator will also be having left associativity clear and if we talk about precedence if we talk about precedence then plus operator will be having the least precedence because it is closest to the start symbol so we can write the order like this and star will be having the highest precedence because it is farthest from the start symbol so this will be the precedence order clear now let's take more examples suppose we have something like this as a grammar and d drives d so suppose this is the given grammar now we can clearly see here this is left recursive left recursive so dollar will be having left associativity this is also left recursive so hash will be having left associativity this is also left recursive so at the rate operator will be having left associativity clear now if we talk about precedence if we talk about the precedence now which one will be having the least precedence this is the start symbol dollar is closest to the start symbol so dollar will be having the least precedence then hash operator will be having the least precedence then add the rate operator so this is the precedence order this is the farthest so this will be having the highest precedence clear now so why we are talking about precedence because some if we have something like this suppose in the expression we have d and then dollar d at d suppose we have this expression so we will we will be evaluating this first because at operator is having the highest precedence and then we will calculate then we will evaluate this one right so that's why we talk about precedence and why we talk about associativity suppose we have something like this so which one to evaluate first as dollar is having left associativity so we will evaluate this first and then this one okay so therefore we talk about associativity and precedence now let's take one more example suppose we have something like this as the given grammar so this is the given grammar okay now now see carefully this is this is left associative so we can say 
this is as this is uh, sorry this is left recursive so we can say star is having a left associativity this is a right recursive right so this is a right recursive so we can say plus is having right associativity clear now here if you see this is both left recursive and right recursive so we can say that this whole grammar is ambiguous this whole grammar is ambiguous right now as this is uh, both left recursive and right recursive so we cannot define the associativity of minus operator so it is not defined what is not defined the associativity of minus operator okay we cannot define why because this is both left recursive and right recursive so we cannot define the associativity of minus operator okay now now if we talk about precedence here in this case now you have to see carefully this this production and this production is at the same level because e is generating both right so e star operator and plus operator will be having equal precedence because e is generating this production as well as this one and as well as this one so this they are not at different levels they are not at different levels they are at same levels that's why the precedence of star operator and plus operator is equal now if you talk about minus operator so minus operator will be having minus operator will be having highest precedence here because it is farthest from the start symbol this is the start symbol and it is farthest from the start symbol so minus here will be having the highest precedence and this is this grammar is ambiguous because it is both left recursive and right recursive clear 